You make absolutely no sense sometimes. You don't think he's coming back, do you? Yeah, he's coming back. He does that a lot. He swipes a motorcycle, he takes off, and then he comes back. It's, it's just the way he is. He's never been gone this long before. Steve, I said he's coming back, right? Well, see, James, if you thought he was coming back, you wouldn't be having this rumble. It ain't a rumble, man. It's just me and Biff punching it out. You know? He might not think so. How the fuck do you know what he'd think? Huh? How the fuck do you know? I'm sorry, man. You don't know, though, all right? You don't know. You don't know. Such a crummy neighborhood. It ain't that bad. It ain't the slums, man. The slums. Did I say it was the slums? I said it was a crummy neighborhood, and it is. Okay, good. You don't like it, then leave. Move. I am. I am. Someday I am. You should face the fact that the motorcycle boy may be gone for good. I mean, don't tell me what I gotta face. I don't gotta face nothing, all right? All right? Hey, Steve, man. They, uh, they called. His mother had a stroke. Hey, Steve, is your mother dying? What a hell of a thing to say. What'd you think? She had a, a stroke. She's not gonna die. Stupid. I was just asking, man. Hey, bitch, it's not gonna kill you to give me the time of day. Give me a little hot snow! Help! Price! Price! The rusty one! Come on. I'll play a little basketball. Yeah. Hey. I've had days like that. Bryce! Five bucks, she beat him up. <laughs> nah, man, I can't. I can't. <sighs> Holy shit. You been to the nurse? Nope. I ain't going. Well, hey, uh, let, me, let me know when you're healed up, okay, kid? Yeah. Hey, Rusty James! Shot. Move it, Price! Get on him, on him, Price! Hey. How you doing? Oh. How's your old lady doing, man? She's real sick. She's in the hospital. Yeah, wasn't you sneaking out the other night that did it, was it? No, no, it nah. wasn't that. Hey, you know Coach Ryan? Yeah? He offered me 50 bucks if I beat up this kid. I'm really thinking about it. Some money. What about your allowance? What do you mean? Money I get from my old man before he drinks it up? Fuck no. I mean, I need some fucking money. I'm serious. Let's go. Let's go.
easy? What's the change? What's the change? You know I don't steal things. You know I do. Thank you. Sweetheart! Be quiet! Guys in a hurry? Oh, shit. What are you doing? Hey. Steve, I think. Why don't you just get out of here, huh? Come on, sir. Come on. I can't make it. Yes, you can. Come on. No. Just jump. Give it all you got. I can't make it. All right, put it this way, Steve. You're going to wish you jumped off the building if that guy catches you, man. Come on, Steve. Steven! Come on. Whoa, whoa. Rusty James! Help me! I got you. Help me! Ah. Oh, let me fall. Uh, help me! Please! Oh, oh. 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 We didn't have to do that, huh? We didn't have to do that. You know, sometimes you are so stupid. Steve, shut up, all right? Just shut up. Just shut up. Shut Fuck you. up. You're such a jerk. Don't you have a fucking brain? Steve, man, you shouldn't have thrown those fucking hubcaps away. I could have got 20 fucking dollars a piece for them, man. We were stealing them. No, well, they stole them from someone else, man, all right? Oh. Forget it. Hopeless case. You all right? You okay? You all right? No. Uh, Mr. James? 
Oh, God. Rusty James. Come on, wake up. I promised that big baddie to the concert. I promised you fucking money. Oh, don't worry. Come on. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll give you money for the concert. Come on. Come on, get up. It's really kind of quiet, you know? Yeah. It's never been so quiet. It's my father and I in the house now. Fuck, you're making a mess. Great. She wanted to come with us, man. It'll be fun, man. We can have a good time. Hey! What is with that thing, anyway? It's my feelings and ideas. I write them down, that's why I don't forget them. Like what? What are you writing now? You writing something about me? No. It's how I feel ever since my mother went into the hospital. Like how? Reckless, I guess. <laughs> take a hit, man. Come on, Steve, take a nice big hit. Come on, man. <coughs> Steve, man, you're not gonna be drunk like that. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, take another one. Oh, later. Right, just a little weaker. Try this. Right, let's go. Steve, man, you gotta help me, man. You gotta help me with this. No, I won't help you. Why? Why, man? Why? Listen, man, we'll just follow him around a little while and, you know. All right, we, we won't go over to the other side of the river. No! Uh, Look, the only reason he went last night, man, the only reason was because I asked him. I asked him. Come on, Steve, man. We'll stay out of trouble. We'll stick around here. No, Rusty James. I have to go to school. Then meet me. Meet me after school, man. Can't you meet me after school? No, Rusty James. You don't need me there. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I do. No, you don't. Why don't you ask BJ or Smokey? Or one of your boys. No, no, no. BJ and Smokey don't know jack shit, man. They think that... They think that the motorcycle boy is cool and everything. But they don't know him like me and you know him, man. Don't you see that? Oh. Yeah. They don't know. You mean they don't know he's nuts? Well, don't ever say that, man! Fucking pop! I never ask you for nothing, man. I never bum money off you. I never let anybody punch on you. I'm asking you now. Well, don't. So I won't do it. I do it for you, Steve. I do it for you. I tried to help you. You know what you're like? You're like a ball in a pinball machine. Getting slammed back and forth. You don't think about anything. You don't think about where you're going or how you're gonna get there. 
I gotta start thinking for myself, Rusty James. I can't continue thinking for you, too. I think, man. Steve, you don't like the motorcycle boy, do you? Huh? Then why do you think he's so cool, huh? He's the only person I've ever met who's like somebody out of a book. I mean, to look like that, and be good at everything like that. Better go to a doctor. I really been to one. You better let go of the motorcycle boy. If you're around him very long, you won't believe in anything. I've been around him all my life. I believe in everything. You would. Take the chapter on Rusty James and write the end. Rusty James, I'm really sorry. Hey, you wanna hear about Cassandra? Man, I already know about Cassandra. She's this spaced out school teacher who has a hot food. She, she thinks she's some kind of intellectual. But, uh, hey, you know, I see her this afternoon. No, I'm talking about Cassandra, who has to do with the Greeks. Yeah, well, I'll listen to her. Am I gonna like this? Tell it to me so I can understand it. Well, you see, Cassandra was the princess of Troy. And then there was this Greek god Apollo. And he kind of had a thing for her. And he gave her the gift of prophecy. Fuck this prophecy, man. What does it mean? for telling the future. And anyway, he got a little annoyed with her. So he made it so she could foretell the future, but then uh, nobody would listen to her. You know some weird shit, man. 